morning guys good morning this is Jenny I am going to cook Malaysian curry for you all okay so now I'm going to cut my tomatoes or slice the tomatoes It's up to you, like, if you want to put more tomato. And normally, I will use a lot of tomatoes. Like today, I'm going to cook not so much for, for what depends on the people. So today, I'm going to make like three to four people. So I hope not so many ingredients I'm going to use. I like tomato very much, especially Japanese tomato is very delicious. And this is all from Okayama Prefecture. Normally I don't use import things. And then the tomato is done. And this is all my ingredient, potatoes, and carrot, and pumpkin. I'm using pumpkin, and also I use tomato paste. And this is all two types of the spice I'm using. One is for meat curry and mixed curry. And then I'm going to use coconuts. And the ingredient is cinnamon and what? Korean, coriander, and I don't know what you call this. I don't know the name. We call ba jiao in Chinese. Ba jiao is a very good smell and a cinnamon is very good for your body, for your brain too. And I am going to use this, a chicken's chicken bouillon is from overseas and I'm going to put it here okay now I'm going to show you the ingredient okay I'm using asam paste and cinnamon and curry leaves and okura and okay I'm going to use this too chick big piece all right now I'm going to mix the onion so onion is depend on you like all right this is my mixer i'm going to mix so i put onion garlic uh, hold on garlic onion ginger inside here all right today i'm going to make not so much Okay, it's done. And now I'm going to heat up my pot. We call nabe in Japanese. And I'm going to add some salad oil. Normally I don't measure. I just go for whatever I can do. So I wait it, heat it up. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also have these beans. It's from Malaysia and Vietnam. We call long beans. And then I also have a fried chicken. So I'm going to add the chicken inside the curry too. So it's called curry chicken. So now the pot is hot. I'm going to put this paste inside the onion paste and garlic ginger so I'm going to stir stir a little bit make it like when the smell came out you can feel like a little bit brown the onion so I'll just wait a few seconds then after the few seconds I will eat at the spices 
this is a uh, meat curry spice okay and i'm going to put different types i put two types of spice mix it and i stir it and see so fast it's already boiled then i will add the potato in here Normally, I use today like three potato, small size one. In Japanese, it's jagaimo, potato. This is also from my friend's garden. They grow this one by themselves. Oh, I forgot about that. I have to put this, what do you call that? Rosemary. And I put asam paste, cinnamon curry powder leaves oh I jump it in okay dump it in and then I'll put this in tomatoes paste I use a lot of tomato for this curry this is my first time I am not very good in the camera Forgive me about that, okay? Okay, I'll add some water. Okay, it's boiling They're very fast. The gas is very strong because it's not so much curry. Add some water. The water is depend you like it. You want watering? Or you want sticky one, it's up to you. I prefer not too much water. And then I will add pumpkin and carrot inside here to I put pumpkin because the pumpkin is tastes good. Make it sweet. So I don't need to put sugar. I don't use much sugar at all. And I don't use I will put a little bit like Okura I will be doing later, okay? I'll put the chicken bouillon. bouillon. It's from overseas. Alright, so it just have to wait for boiling. Then after the boiling, before that, I'm going to add some more cinnamon powder. And I'm going to add, what do you call this? Timer. And... I'm going to put some gara masala. Oh, gara masala. It's up to you, like maybe a small teaspoon. And oga or orega. And I'll put some natsu, what, natsu mega? I don't know what this called that. Yeah, all kinds of spice. And let's just stir. And don't forget, if you don't have asam paste, you can put some lemon, okay? Or you can put some vinegar. It's up to you. Then, I'll put a good salt inside, okay? A very delicious salt. Normally, <laughs> I would just... I don't measure, okay? You can add... Feel like whatever you like. Not too salty. Okay. And also, I will put some Japanese... Be careful. Japanese soya sauce. And with the oyster sauce, put some oyster sauce. And I will put some, a very good shoyu sauce made by, by in Krashiki. Just a little bit, maybe one teaspoon. Okay? 
then I just stir, 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 and I will add some. Before that, I'll get the spoon, okay? Have to taste it. Okay. Wow, it's good. All right, so I'll put chicken inside. But first, you have to seasoning the chicken for maybe one night. Salt and pepper and ginger. And then you just fry, uh, not so deep fry, okay? Just a light fry. So you put inside to in the curry. Normally in a vegetable, I cook more than 100 people. I use a very, very big pot. But today, I'm going to use it for cooking at home. And then, I will add the beans inside. Because this bean is very good for curry. I love beans. And I love okura. And I'll put... A lot of people, they love to make a lot of sauce, you know. Actually, I don't like it. I prefer not so much sauce. So I add okura inside. So this is my asam paste. It's very important one. I get it from, I bought it from Malaysia. They will last a long time because they are dry. So look. It's all the veggie inside here. And take about maybe 10 minutes to slow fire, for flour, slow fire and cook a little bit by little until they soft, okay? Uh, I think before that, I forgot one thing. I have to add coconuts. I forgot about that, okay? Now I'm going to add coconuts, milk. I bought uh, instant coconut milk from Thailand. Sometime I bought it from Malaysia. Okay. So you met at in the map. Hmm. When you put the coconut milk inside and it tastes very, very mild and nice. If you don't have coconut, it's also okay. It depends. You like sour or you don't like sour. It depends. Wow, so the the curry became like a little bit like milk. It's creamy. Creamy. Looks the okura and the long bean looks so delicious. Oh and just wait for another five minutes. Alright. That's all.